Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how to export a Grand Theft Auto 5 vehicle to Blender. The export will include all UV channels as well as vertex paint. I will also show you how to prepare your mesh to be worked on, which will include fixing the normals and adding weighted normals. Subscribe if you want. Okay, so first things first, we need our model. So I've got OpenIV open here and we're gonna grab the Warner 2 and drag it into my models folder. And then we've got Zmod over here. And then we go File Import. And then we will go to Volcar. Uh, Warren a Tutorial Models, these two. So this won't include the LODs, it'll be L0 only. So it can be used for reference purposes. But you can do LODs in the same way, it's, it's the same process. So I'll also add the YTD as well. Okay. Import. So basically to start with, we want to reset everything to world because you need to do this with DAE, otherwise there's a bunch of bugs. Um, so what I generally do is I will make a separate save for that. So we've got the save for conversion and then the save for exporting to Blender, which is what I'm gonna do now. So we'll save this in the crack folder. And then we'll save it again. So SS just represents the name that you'd give it Now what you want to do is select everything. You'll have to zoom it out a bit because there's other stuff around the vehicle for the wheels. And then reset to world, like so. Now what we can do is go export, Collada DAE, whole scene export, and then you could put this in your export folder, which we will do now as well. Volcar, we're on a sorry exported. So this is just beautiful. Warner 2, export. Okay, now we will jump into Blender. I will try my best to mention the sh keyboard shortcuts that I use as I use them. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is go to File, Import, Collada DAE, and then go to the folder for it. So, exported, Warner2.DAE, Import Collada. So now what we want to do is basically go through each and every panel. And uh, for this, I'm going to detach the paint. Um, but you can basically do the same process with the entire car if you really want to. But there's obviously a lot there. So I'm just going to focus on the body panels for now. And then, uh, you know, it can be up to you to fix it for the rest of them, which is fine. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, select everything that has paint on it. trunk as well yeah and then I'm going to go into edit mode with tab and switch to face mode with three on your keyboard and we'll go to material properties vehicle generic small spec map paint one select and then I'll deselect this press M new collection body panels so it's easy to see, then I'm going to hide the rest of it. And now what I'll do is I'll go through one by one and I will hit, I'll go to tab to go into edit mode, then press P to separate the uh, paint and then hit selection like so, and then hide the back. And then same with everything else. With this, I'll also grab the uh, detail two bit because there's door seams that go around here, which will also need to be weighted. So. So selection, like so. So this one, yeah, this is fine. Yeah. 
and the other fender as well. As well as the bonnet. Here's we have everything. Oh, the trunk. Let's do that. Almost forgot that. Okay, so now we've got all the paint pieces. I'm going to append some materials in. Um, but you can basically just edit the existing material. Like you can give it a base color, make it a bit shinier, more metallic. And then shiny, you can do with the roughness. But I have my own material for this, so I will append that. So file, append. Uh, we'll go here. And then we will apply this. Let me just uh, do a quick for the rest of them so we're not here for ages there we go and then detail 2 as well there we go just wanted to make it quick I didn't do this one, we'll do this one. Now with cars like this one, which have uh, livery mapping, you want to try and avoid uh, mirroring it. Otherwise you'll have to also mirror the EV when you're done. Um, I'm going to disregard this because I don't mind ruining the template. Um, but just keep that in mind. The livery mapping is on the EV channel and it obviously isn't um, just a mirrored version of itself. It has two sides, basically. That's just the simple, simplest way of putting it. So for this, what I'm going to do is delete the parts that I'm going to mirror. And then we can make a start. So what I generally do before starting a project is I will jump into the UV map section and also the, open the vertex color section in the uh, object data properties tab, as well as the normal section. And we're going to be doing three things in total with each of these, but like one, two, three, four, five things in total are here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the UV maps, and this is so you don't mess the UV maps up when you're um, attaching stuff to other stuff. So we'll call this first one UV map, and then the next one dirt, and then the next one misc. Vertex colors I'm going to set to coal, and then auto smooth. We'll improve the normals a little bit and we'll set the um, angle to 180 degrees. And then we'll do that on all of them. Wait in almost the first one, which, as you can see, makes a whole load of difference just immediately. And then what I'll do is I'll select all with A, and then I'll do Control L, and then copy modifiers, which will copy the modifiers to every single object that I have selected currently. Now what I'll also do is go to each individual one and add the mirror modifier. Should make sure that the weighted normals modifier is uh, underneath the mirror modifier. Otherwise you get some weird normals in the center. Of course I'm going to delete half of it. 
because we only need one half. So you can see here, if you don't have weighted normals, if you don't have weighted normals above, then the normals in the center, sorry, if you don't have weighted normals below the mirror modifier, then the normals in the center will go a bit weird. More difficult to see on this one. And in fact, there's a great example of it up here. You see how it's like spiky here in the reflection. If I move the weighted normals underneath the mirror, then it will fix that. So yeah. That is that sorted for now. So now what I'm going to do is go into each individual piece. I'm going to use L to select all or select uh, what, I've, what I'm currently hovered over, and then I'll also select other bits like this which have random edge plate around them. Unfortunately, random edge plate is unavoidable when exporting from ZModeler, so there's not really much that can be done about that, but it's relatively easy to fix, so it's not too big a deal. Anyways, so I've selected that one. I think I've got the entire thing, and now what we'll do is we'll do Alt-M. It might be M uh, for you just M on its own to bring up the merge section, but for me it's all M. Uh, and then you can just merge by distance. You can see here, remove 36 vertices. And then I'll also select this inside bit and merge that too. Didn't merge the entire thing because this uh, edge here needs to be sharp. You can also, if you'd like, go through and convert all of this to quads manually or you can attempt the uh, automatic one, which doesn't really work very well with Alt-J. Um, but I generally just go through and do manually, but we don't have the time to show all of that, so I'm just going to leave it um, triangulated. Generally, you only need to do it when there are certain areas that look a bit odd. Nine times out of ten, you'll be okay. And if you really just can't be bothered, then also you don't have to do it. Because it will still look marginally better with weighted normals compared to what it was. Anyways, so that's the fenders done. I'm going to hide them so I know which ones I've completed. I'll also do the bonnet, although I'm pretty sure this is the only piece that's actually all one piece, but we will merge it anyway just to make sure. There is zero, good. And that will be the body shell, which is quite a big piece. So this one's got a bit of... Uh, it's got supporting loops here, so you can actually weld all of this and it should look relatively smooth. And it does, so that's awesome. There are a lot of corners like that. I'm not going to do it on these though. Down here too. Yeah, that's that front piece sorted. That one doesn't need it. At the top, yeah, we did. Okay, we'll continue along. So just gradually going through the vehicle, merging. We move two from there. Oh, there's a big piece down here, and this piece as well. Eighty-four removed from that one. Grab this too. This one seems to be in a lot better shape. There's a supporting loop down the bottom here too, so we can grab that as well. It's actually a supporting loop at the top too. We'll take advantage of that. Since the topology permits. Yeah, so that's all nice and smooth now. Yeah, I like it. Okay, there's the body shell done. Now we will do 
the trunk lid. That one's done. Whoops. Also going to sharpen this up as well. Else it'll look bad. Also recommend turning on keep sharp in the weighted normals, otherwise you won't otherwise mock sharp won't show properly. I forgot to mention that. Sorry. Okay, so now you have a fixed model in Blender. This is ready to start whatever project you want to start with said project. And um, yeah. That's pretty much just importing the car into Blender and the process for fixing the normals. Uh, as an example, I've just shown you the body panels, but you can basically apply the exact same techniques to every other uh, part of the car. Um, the most difficult one will probably be the chassis because there's a lot of intricate details in there and a lot of different mappings. So there'll be a bunch of edge split which you have to merge, but generally it's not too bad. And again, a reminder... Um, if your vehicle has livery mapping, which this one does, if you mirror the parts, then the livery mapping will become fucked up because it will just be a mirrored version of this side. So keep that in mind. You may have to, um, you know, do each side uh, individually, uh, unlike what I did, which was just mirror it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you like the video. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.